Good morning, truck of junkies. So we've done our pre-inspection and brushed my teeth. Got me something to drink. Speaking of, today's video is brought to you by uh, Calypso Strawberry Lemonade. Uh, not getting paid for this. Uh, Calypso. When you when you're trying something new, make it Calypso. Strawberry lemonade. Try that here in a little bit. But anyway, we've got 300 and just a little over 300 miles to go, uh, leaving uh, Madison Yard. And shout out to my uh, uh, <clears throat> wife's aunt and uncle, uh, Sharon and Mike. Uh, I didn't get done until late last night, so there was no point in calling. Uh, but. Uh, Maybe some one of these days I'll get another weekend down here and we can go and, and visit some. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so we're on our way. Let's go. Oh, man. Getting fuel was an ordeal, I tell you. That place was busy. They were doing construction on that Flying J. Didn't know that. There was construction coming off of the interstate. That was horrible. <coughs> Fuel islands were full and people weren't moving. That sucked. People were filing out of that place. Man, horrible. Uh, so, a uh, little bit of a development with our uh, with our 17 year old dog Bear. Uh, talked to my wife last night and he's he's not keeping anything down at all uh, so we think we're gonna put him down we don't want him to suffer at all and uh, he may be suffering right now and she's gonna wait till I get home so I can say my goodbyes and stuff but uh, you know like I said yesterday you know it's uh, he's been a good dog he's he been, a, been around forever and as far as in dog years go and uh he's just i i think it's just he's it's his time so i'm gonna say my goodbyes this weekend and she's gonna make an appointment for for the vet and let him move on to to his next life so kind of sad news hate to hear that but you know Pets come and pets go. We love them while they're here. But anyway, we're headed to Loyal, Arkansas, to Central State. Get this stuff unloaded. Get us another load. Maybe go into the house. Let's find out. Man, I am really enjoying having my PassSmart back. Now, what the PassSmart is, is, is our, our trucks are, are governed at... 64 65 miles an hour anywhere between that depending on what kind of tires you got on and how new those tires are you could go 65 yeah for a while I was only doing 64 but what the pass smart does is you can you can double click on your on your accelerator and it'll bypass the governor and get you to 70 miles an hour for a, a short length of time, about 30 minutes, okay? And it'll reset once during the day, so you can have an hour of going 70 miles an hour. Well, what I use it for is, is passing people. That's what it's there for, okay? So, before... When it wasn't working, I was stuck behind people doing like 65, 65 and a half. You know, they'd range anywhere from 64 to 65. And I'd be stuck behind that person because I couldn't go any faster. I'd have to slow down and back off of them so that my radar wouldn't beep at me. Because we have front-facing radar in this thing, and it'll tell you you're too close or whatnot, right? And it'll beep at you. You know, which is annoying. But now, whoo! 
Well, that's somebody doing 64 eyes. Step on it and go and get away from that person, you know? And uh, it is, over the last two weeks, I've, uh, I didn't realize how much I did miss it, you know? I know, man, getting behind those people, and they would, you know, it, usually it'd be somebody who wasn't on their, on their uh, uh, cruise control, you know, they'd step on the gas a little bit, get a little bit ahead of you, and the radar would go off. And then they'd slow down about 63, and then you'd be right up, and they'd be right on your bumper, and you'd have to back off of them. That's a pain in the butt. But uh, now, I don't have to worry about them fools. I just double tap and go. Double tap. Rule number one in the zombie apocalypse. Well, we're here. I've got... So I pulled in. I went and I signed in. Some dudes here I've never seen before. <laughs> he says... He says, you're going to take off and take your stuff off here? I told him... I said, I can take it off wherever you want me to take it off. So, I took my tarps off. And we got to back, we got to go around the building and back into a door. I took my tarps off. And I took my straps off. And, uh, I left my chains and everything on. Because I know I got to move it. And he comes around the thing, he says... Well, normally they take the chains off and leave the straps on, he said, because it's easier that way. Well, it doesn't matter what you take off, you still got to take it all off. Normally we take it all off on the back, uh, back side after we pull in. Hey, you sit here giving me a lecture about what to take off, what not to take off. It's better to leave your chains on, take your straps off, honestly, if you're going to have to maneuver around the building. Straps don't give you a whole lot on a shotgun coil. Those two chains in between it are, though, that gives me all of my securement, just about. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I don't care as long as you take it off my truck and I get going down the road. That's all that matters. Hey, they got construction going on. People in the way. I'm not going to make my next appointment because they set it at 2 o'clock. Whatever. Just get me unloaded. So I'm finally being unloaded. Uh, you can hear in the background I'm watching some F1 bloopers. <laughs> They're cheering me on. Yay! Uh, we're going to be late to that pickup in Fort Smith. I might make it home tonight. It's going to be iffy. Uh, they're about to cut into my in about four minutes. They're gonna be cutting into my drive time So uh, It's gonna be iffy. I might get on tonight. It might be tomorrow morning. I don't know but uh, They'll get me unloaded here Completely in a few minutes. I got to do one coil at a time. There's ten coils uh, So uh, Eventually they'll get me done. We'll get back on the road. Let's go Well, as you see We're at the Maverick yard in Fort Smith, we have been loaded with six bundles of bar over at the steel mill. We're secured, and we're going home. Got just enough time to make it to the house.
So, uh, update on Bear. Uh, he may not make it to Saturday. Uh, been talking to Kelly today, and she said he's just getting to where he, he can't even stand up on his own. So, he's not holding any food down or anything. I'll, I'm hoping he'll make it until I can get there to say bye to him. But, uh, he's, he's not doing real well. So, we're gonna, we're gonna just watch him through the day and tomorrow and through tonight. And, and, uh, see what, see what's gonna go on there. Uh, I think she's wanting to cremate him instead of putting him out in the pet cemetery. Uh, We've got got some good friends that are uh, they've got all of our animals are out there their animals are out there out there on their land and, but I think she wants to keep bear pretty close so we may we may cremate him and uh, keep him there at the house we'll find out but anyway we're headed to the house I think this is going to be the end of the video for today. I'll give you guys an update tomorrow. It may not be a long video tomorrow, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated on Bear and his situation. It may just be a short video, um, but uh, uh, you guys come on back tomorrow, and uh, I appreciate you being here and watching, and and uh, you know people asking about about him last couple of times, last couple of comments, and. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.